In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use a metric slider in Google Data Studio. I prepared two charts for my demo and I need to click on my table and here you can see as a metric slider toggle. Important note, the metric slider is not working with a scorecard, bullet chart, Google map chart and a pivot table. Also, the chart can have metric sliders or optional metrics, but not both. I've toggled the metric slider to enable it. Here you can see a little icon. And if I press on it, I can drag the left and right ends of a slider to adjust the lower and upper limits of the range for a selected metric. Also, I can type in uh, the numbers directly using the entry field on the left and right. If I press clear, it will be reset the slider parameters to default. But as you can see, the metric slider only related to a specific chart, but if you want to create a standalone slider, you can use a community visualization component uh, that is called a range slider. I want to mention that it is not working always perfectly, but you can give it a try. If you want to use it, you need to enable the community visualization components for uh, your data source. Uh, you can press here and turn on uh, community visualization access and then press done. Then I pr can press here, uh, then explore more. And uh, here is my arrange slider. If I press three dots and then um, learn more, here I can see instructions on how to use it and uh, demos. Uh, for instance, I can click demo one and um, I can adjust the number of views. Uh, also publication date. Well, if you press available range sliders, you will able to see where you can use the range slider. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Google Data Studio. And if you need help with Data Studio, check the links in the description below.